okay? So I have to speak the language they speak. So number one, I don't appear self-righteous, okay? And so that I don't uh, uh, appear as, uh, you know, holier than thou, so to speak, okay? So you have to be willing to speak in a language that, that, you're, that people can understand, that your followers can understand, okay? And so when people are, are screwing with their mind or people, because that, that's all that the devil tries to do and his children are the same thing, which is the CIA, which is, uh, the CIA is a completely corrupt and evil satanic institution, and I think everyone is aware of that by now. They go to other nations and, and overthrow those nations and and uh, kill the pe whoever's leading those nations and, <laughs> and, and insert some puppet, some muppet, some guy that's going to take their bribes, take America's bribes, and, and, and exploit their own citizens, his or her own citizens for our benefit, which is this so wrong and so grotesquely evil on so many levels and brings curses to the entire populace of America, which is why you're seeing America becoming destroyed. You're seeing the economy of America be destroyed, the moral fiber of America be destroyed. Everybody's miserable, everybody's in a bad mood. I'm not, but I'm, but I have you know, I don't live by the standards of a typical American where they live by standards and just have to do with Masonic materialism, they don't care about anything else. And then they wonder later why their son and daughter committed suicide, you know, before they turn twenty one. They wonder why they're popping pills all the time or why their wife or their husband's nothing but a drunk. You brought curses upon yourselves and now you're gonna to have to live with those curses because you turned your back on God and then even worse than that, you're supporting an institution with the CIA and the FBI that are out there making enemies and villains out of innocent people just to do it. These are cursed institutions. Okay? So these are death psalms so that you have FBI agents or special agents or duty officers pursuing you or CIA guys pursuing you. You say these prayers every single day. I say them on the hour, every hour, every day. You'll watch them die. They will die because you're putting the everlasting curse upon them and it goes to the third and fourth generation. So even after they die, if they have children, those children are going to be cursed. And their children's children is going to be cursed at three generations. And their children's grandchildren will be cursed. So these death songs go three, four generations deep in affliction, afflicting them because the Heavenly Father can't stand people like that. They go and cause trouble for, for evil purposes. They go and, 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 and uh, pursue innocent good people such as myself and such as you guys out there, you guys and girls, and, and go just try to terrorize you and cause harm in your life and just constantly screw them with your mind uh, just for evil purposes because you can see through their lies and they don't like that. There's nothing that God hates worse than a liar. That, that, that is the, the liar and the coward are the two kinds of people that God hates more than anyone else. He does. He hates liars and cowards. Okay, and so in other words, as long as you don't believe their lies and as long as you are not fearful or intimidated by them, they can do nothing to you. The devil can do nothing to you as long as you don't believe their BS. As long as you don't believe their lies, they can't do anything to you. So as long as you don't believe their lies, number one, and number two, don't be afraid of them. They're going to try to use things to try to screw with your mind by way of deceiving you in some way and then by trying to instill some kind of fear of intimidation into you. Don't be fearful of these creatures at all. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to kill them with, with just by using death psalms, by using prayers. Here we go. First of all, you say in Our Father before you begin the death psalms, and then you say Our Father afterwards. Why? To protect yourself. To protect your mind, your soul, your body, and your spirit, because you're opening a time space of void portal, a vortex, a wormhole, a stargate into the spirit world. And you're going to literally grab hundreds of thousands of demons and hurl them at these people. Okay, and you don't need to name who, okay? Your guardian angels are the ones that are going to tell those demons who to attack, okay? And your guardian angels, of course, are sinless. They're flawless. They came from the Heavenly Father. They're there to protect you. So your guardian angels will take the death psalm, send it to the Heavenly Father, who will command the Heavenly Father to command the guardian angels to command the demons to go attack and kill those people that do not like you and are engaged in conspiracies against you. And you keep praying these things until there's no one left on the earth except us. Okay? Every day. Here we go. Our Father, and then you say, and our Father afterwards to close that space-time portal. 
Right, so you keep good. yourself safe. Yeah. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. As we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Now here's the three death psalms. Here we go. All right, get ready. This is stuff is pretty hardcore. This is not for the faint of heart, but you need to know these things. You need to have them memorized so you can say them. And you can use this as a spiritual tactic. You can't get arrested for it. You can't be oppressed. Nothing can happen to you because the, 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 the people that try to per prosecute in the court of law, they'll be thrown out of court and they'll be laughing at them and say that those people are delusional. You know, guys just praying and just saying a bunch of words. How'd that person die just from words? You see? So you use that against them. Here we go. In my distress, I cried unto Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shani. Heard me, deliver my soul, O Yahuwah, from lying lips and deceitful tongues. What shall be given unto thee? And what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongues? Sharp barrels of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that the Shashon the Meshach, that the dwell in the tents of Kadar. My soul alone dwelleth with those that hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. O oh, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, Shai, to whom vengeance belongeth, O oh, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, Shai, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, and rend the 